How on earth could a whale calf and a little boy ever have anything in common? Dario and the Whale by Cheryl Lawton Malone and illustrated by Bistro Maceva looks into this a little bit more. Every spring, when the sun wakes up the land, Dario and his mother move to the seashore. Every spring, when the sun warms up the sea, a whale and her new calf swim north to a cool bay. Dario's mother has to work. This year, she's a cook at the Salty Cod. The whale is a right whale. She has to swim. She and her calf swim to a bay by the Salty Cod. On his first day, Dario tries to make new friends. Oi! He calls to the kids on the beach. He kicks a soccer ball, but the kids are playing baseball. Puff! The whale spouts. He chases a school of herring. The herring swim away. Dario backs into a sandcastle accidentally. Hey, says a girl. Descalupe, Dario says, turning pink. Sorry. The whale bumps a green turtle on purpose. The turtle swims away. Later, Dario runs along the sand. He flies a kite by himself. The whale has a notched tail. He launches himself up. Dario sees the whale. The whale sees Dario. How is their friendship going to form? What's going to happen? How is it going to blossom? You're going to have to read it to see. This is a fabulous example of a book for a primary student. It is not only culturally diverse, but also linguistically diverse. As you notice, there are Portuguese words throughout the book, since the little boy's home language is Portuguese in Brazil. It's also culturally diverse, as it exhibits a boy who has a little bit different interests than the kids around him. This is going to make students aware of differences that they might have and also make them more open and kind towards one another. Since this book is for primary students, it's important that it has a little bit more advanced of a storyline and plot. Since the book goes back and forth from the aspect of a whale to the aspect of a little boy, it portrays this. The author and illustrator did a great job teaming up to make sure that the illustrations further the understanding of this book and those concepts. This book is also a great choice because it helps build semantic knowledge. There are an array of vocabulary words that can be created and understood through this book, including herring, the fish that the whale is chased by. And no. This book also provides semantic knowledge for this age group of primary students. It provides an indirect experience of going to the beach or a bay. Not all students will have been able to make this vacation, but this book provides a great example of it. Semantic knowledge can also be further developed through the use of the words of herring, baseball, soccer, calf. Due to these qualities, Dario and the Whale is a book that should not be overlooked and should be introduced to help further cultural and linguistic diversity, semantic knowledge, and a better understanding of language and reading in general for primary students.